In this video, I am going to teach you how to download 3D objects and also to uh, go literally inside of a 3D scene, which is a pretty cool thing to do. Within your notebook software, all you have to do is, and Smart made this really simple, I want to click the gallery tool to go search for an object, and um, well, the gallery tab, sorry. And here in the top panel, I have Google 3D Warehouse. And when I click on Google 3D Warehouse, and I'm going to you know, widen this panel just a bit so I can have a better view, I have the um, download screen that you would see if, as if, I mean, it's, it's online. It's my, my download screen. Um, I want Cowboy Stadium, so I'm actually going to do a search, Cowboys Stadium, because I do live in Texas near Cowboy Stadium, and, you know, we're still Cowboy fans to a point. So once I get here, I see lots of different creations that um, different artists have made. And I'm going to click um, the top one because I actually like that one. And I've already downloaded this, but, so, but I want to show you what you have to do. To download this object, you're going to click Download Model. And you want to choose Colada Zip. Just click it. And then Save It, which I've actually already done. And then you'll have to unzip it. So I'll just write over what I've done. And I'm going to click open. And we use, in the, I mean, I'm using a Windows based system, of course. So I'm going to click extract all files, which I've actually already done. So I'll just replace what I have. And um, when I click finish, there is my um, folder that shows me where my stadium is. So to get this inside of my notebook, um, page, I want to go to Insert, 3D File, and I'm going to double click my Cowboy Stadium, and you want to go to Models, and Warehouse underscore Model dot DAE, and here is my Cowboy Stadium, which I can actually make this a little bit bigger, and I can rotate this around um, various ways. And if you look here at the top, and I love this one because it has the big TV, um, the big, you know, flat screen TV in the top, just like the real stadium. And I love doing this because I can start class by telling my students, we're going to Cowboy Stadium today. And, um, you know, they of course think we're going to the real thing, which we clearly are not, but we kind of are. And we can actually go inside, um, which is cool on objects that actually have um, interiors built in. So to do that, you can either click the drop down and do enter 3D scene or right click on the object itself. And when I do that, I get basically a map here at the top which tells me where I'm kind of located at all times. Everything in here is mirrored around. So as I'm moving my object, when I go right, it goes left. When I go left, it goes right. Just kind of know that. And then you have buttons here on the left that um, you know you can move around any place you want and so when I use the top one it just does an up down left right when I use the bottom one it actually is zooming in side so I'm gonna kinda move this up so I can get a so now I'm inside and now we're inside the 3D object which is really cool now the use is forward with um, geometry, which is what I teach in addition to Algebra 1. You know, I have students that have never seen a football field. And yes, we do have one here on campus, but it's cool to be able to go in and let's say we're doing an activity that involves parallel lines. Well, here's a great example of one that they can see and, you know, that they can clearly see. And it's, I like to joke around that it's nighttime and so the lights aren't on and that's why it's dark inside, but this is a pretty nifty tool. And to get out of my scene, I can hit the X. And it takes me back out and um, puts me pretty much back where I was. So that is a nifty way to interact with 3D objects and get inside of them for a bit. And thank you for watching.